welcome to just vibe vibes welcome let's talk about love island in that episode first thing jess is not about you like how Jess just went and you think that you should spend the time complaining about how she didn't want to talk to you you wanted to help her to get some things from upstairs you asked her girl please if you really want to help her you just go and get the things where well, the other people helping i say oh Harry, can I help you and do this? No, they just went ahead to do it. Like, what What were you trying to do? You don't like the girl. You're happy that she's gone, I am sure. And now you're getting the eek uh, from Trey. I feel like that's because you still wanted Ronnie. And so you kind of coupled up with him. What uh, Matilda asked you was true. But you're like, oh, I would have stayed with Sean longer if not. Like, I think she wanted to even rub it in. Well, that's actually I would have stayed with Sean longer. Sean knew that you were not that into him. Like, you cannot even hide those kind of things in that place. So now Ron is gone. There's no other person that you like. You're lucky that Casamo is coming. But anyway, you're still not liked by the public anyway. So the moment you're just lucky, like, honestly, you literally have nine lives. And the moment things are open for someone to be voted off, there's a high chance that you're going home. As long as the islanders don't have to choose because those people, they just be choosing you because um, Nicole and Kiran will always be on the top and then Nicole would never want you to go. So we don't see that happening if they have to choose. By the end of the day, we shall see how it goes. Except so you're just going to, if you're on the bottom, then just dumped. That's how it's going to be. And then I do think that Grace is being hypocritical about Jesse's situation like it's not the girl's fault you did exactly the same thing I think uh, someone tried to tell her I think it was Jess that kind of tried to tell her but they were not just straightforward with her I would have been like girl when you came in he was Samantha you were kissing him all over you knew that he was Samantha so that's what is happening now so you Joey is the common denominator here they told her that but they just did not even try to blame her because she was in a sensitive spot or something like that i would have told that straight up you did your own and if someone that has blamed you how would you have felt so at the same time you cannot be blaming uh, jesse because jesse is not the one that was coupled up with you she's a bombshell she comes in they're supposed to find someone that finds her attractive and couple up with the person that's her job and she's done her job so it is your man that was showing himself and now i feel like will and uma are, were in the bottom this particular time because of will because i know that like at first uma and um are your situation so it kind of made some people be like oh you know that whole thing because mimi has a lot of um, people that are supporting her so for some reason mimi just have people that are supporting mimi but uma for some reason don't have people that are supporting uma like, like she has some people obviously but not like a big group of people because i am mimi they only say because of mimi not because of i am mimi but i think that both nico and kira i don't think they could have stood on their own it's because they're together now lots of people like kiran but nico not really but because they were the strongest they're still the strongest couple so that's the reason why they are always safe but when it comes to mimi and ayo it's just because of mimi but if uma had that kind of you know i mean that kind of pull then it would have worked but she doesn't we was not one of the original guys and then he's just been keeping himself open a bit like he you know the way he chats like obviously with her is like they are closed off like even this i feel like this particular time they've shown them a lot together so everybody was like ah oh my will they're very strong they're very strong they're always spending time together they're very strong you know the things that they're doing is like relationship kind of thing busting of pimples and all of that stuff so everybody's like ah these people are really strong then we open his mouth to say I i'm open i, I think I i'm open no you've changed that to jesse so him wanting jesse to choose him and him even telling her five seconds before Jesse would choose because he thought that Jesse was going to choose him. I think that is the reason they're in the bottom this time because I feel like they wouldn't have been in the bottom. That was the reason. It might have been Sean and Matilda. And Harriet has herself to blame for going home because it's that whole runny. I didn't, I didn't review on Friday. I went out. So, but I think that is that whole runny situation. That's why. Because she's, she, like, you cannot disrespect yourself like that. Like, I would not vote for someone that has no self respect. Because what are you telling young girls and that are watching that oh, when someone has no self respect for themselves, they should be um, pioneered or something like that? For me, Grace showed self respect. So, I would have voted for Grace if I wanted to even vote for someone. Like, obviously, I voted for someone, but if I was, if I didn't have anybody to vote for, it would have been Grace. Between Grace and Harriet, I would vote for Grace because she did carry herself with more class and respect. Harriet was just carrying herself like, I don't know, like Desperado. I don't like desperate people. So, yeah, that was that. And then Joey going to Grace, her saying that, oh, I don't have anything against you. Joey, you shouldn't have anything against her. Like, this guy is so obtuse. Like, I don't understand what's wrong with his brain. I feel like he needs to be shaking, like, and like sense smacked into his brain because what the heck like you do not have anything to have a, like you you don't have the right to have anything against her how about that 
and then me mimi has been fishing with ayo she's like she's trying to talk to ayo to see if she and i hate when they call him ayo his name is ayo oh god this ayo is just pissing me off and i don't understand how he's allowing them to spoil his name like ayo ayo there's like it's so the same thing like just yo instead of you like you should have just told them it's yo ayo not ayo but obviously he's just letting everybody call him ayo so at this point you can let them call him a you now because it's just it's pissing me off honestly but okay that part uh i do think that mimi is fishing with ayo she's just like oh uh trying to see him to say that oh we're strong we're this but he's not saying just like i'm gonna let you know because my guy does not feel closed off he does not feel strong and i feel like his head is going to like he's going his head is going to turn definitely and mimi is going to be sad and then she's going to cry again i don't even know if i should feel pity for her but like seeing all the people coming out from the villa talking about how strong they are how they are always together so maybe i understand why she is just you know what i mean she's just enjoying the kool-aid not understanding that he ends it because everybody's saying that they are strong like he's always spending time they're always spending time together they're like husband and wife they cook together they do all of this stuff they're not showing us this stuff so we don't know we just see that this girl likes him too bad and we don't see him liking her back because we saw him liking her back in the beginning but after uma came he feels like someone that is deflected it gives me like someone that just settled because he had no choice he's not giving me like obviously he liked the girl it kind of looks like now he liked the girl a little bit not like as strong as he was doing the first time and now he's just like oh, what can i do there's no other option here that's what it's giving so i think that mimi is going to cry like honestly if i your behaves himself in casa i'll be surprised and that's the only time i'm going to feel like they're a strong couple apart from that never like if he even like looks at the girl one way or like kiss or be excited about any of them like chat with them and be open to them like really being then uh i just know anyway that's what i expect him to do so i'll be like okay that's what i expect but if he doesn't <laughs> i'll be shocked um the girl's branch um yeah, that whole conversation, I find, yeah, it was good that they had all them conversation. Oh, Uma is really, really gone. She really, she wants kids with Will. She wants all of that. And my guy is not, it is not worth it. Uma is another person that is going to cry after Kasamo. And I'm going to really, really feel bad for her. She's going to cry because she's going to not, she's not interested in all those guys. They're all interested in her, but she's not interested in them. And I feel like, honestly, I can't lie. They, they do the same thing over and over again. They bring boys that cannot measure up with the guys in the villa. Like, honestly, firstly, the guys in the villa don't have to be too handsome because we spend time with them, so we have kind of a connection with them already. These people are new people. They need to be that kind of people. They need to look so good that you want to cheat on your man with them. Like, none of them look that good like that. Like, for Mimi, they didn't even bring anybody. They brought this guy with his scanty twist, Mon Monzea, however his name is, uh, Monzaya. Monzaya. Like, why does he have scanty twist? Like, why do people just carry themselves like that? Like, I don't understand. Like, if you're going to make hair as a man, make your hair well, please. Like, honestly. I'm just like what was that and then um obviously i thought they didn't bring any any guy for uh for mimi and then the guy that grace likes he's a topless waiter at 29 how much do they pay because they said that salary is given like the salary has to be so good for you at 29 year old, years old to be a topless waiter like is that what you're gonna do when you're 40 because from 29 you should start looking for a career that would be if i'm not from 29 obviously your 20s like late 20s that you have to have a career that you can continue with for the long run does he see himself being a topless waiter when he's 40 that's why i think i think it's just his dark voice and they didn't bring any black guy that grace is gonna like anyway because they didn't bring any black guy that, that kind of looks that good i feel like the uh, other guy lionel lionel or whatever i feel like he looks good i feel like he would have been good as an original cast he doesn't give bombshell so he gives like settled like you know someone that is going to be like a man you know someone that will take care of you someone that you can marry and all of that stuff that's not what a casa amor guy would should be the only time they should bring that kind of guy for casa amor is if a girl wants that kind of stuff and she's single she's never found it they're bringing that kind of guy will be fine for that but uh, most of these girls are coupled up so like maybe it's really coupled up in a strong couple so you need to bring someone whereby the attraction is like you know you know the sex appeal is too strong that maybe she will not be able to hold herself from falling that's what it should be it should not be someone that is like settled i'm not saying like he has a good like i like him as a person but i think that he would have been good as a main cast and not a casamo person and actually i feel like omar maybe would have been good now for casamo but i like the fact that he came in then but i don't understand did they not plan for casamo anyway they never plan with the girls so i mean bringing guys for the girls but the girls they look good i've seen the girls they look really, really good and therefore so matilda asks good question and hugo is like hot cake i don't know why he is but is what is and then that guy that they asked to name the three guys and then he's naming people that make no sense like him naming um will did he name will yeah i think he named will 
I can't remember. I have to check, but I think name will then um Joey, then uh Kieran. I'm like, where's Ayo? Where's Ayo? Kieran should not be there. Like he was just trying to poke on Nicole. Maybe he wants Nicole or he wants Nicole to be sad. He wants Nicole to be open. That's where it's giving me because you know they want to break the strongest couple. That's where it's giving me because Ayo should be there in place of Kieran. Kieran is someone that has been straightforward. Anyway, that's that for uh, tonight. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye bye.